These are the luggage tags that we are going to be using. These are sublimation ready luggage tags and you can find the link below for these. These are MDF, that means that they are wood. And so these come in measuring about two and three quarter inches wide and just about four inches long. So these are the ones that we're gonna be using. And as you can see on the right there, MDF that's sublimation ready will typically have a plastic coating on both sides. And so be sure to remove the plastic coating. Once you have the protective coating taking off from both sides, because these are sublimation ready blanks that we are going to be putting images on both sides, you're gonna wanna clean your surface. I use a coffee filter because they are lint free on my hard surfaces, works really well. And then we are going to go and start designing in Canva. What I do here in my Canva is I'm going to go to custom size here and I'm going to change the pixels to inches and I am going to set it at 3.1 inches wide and 4.25 inches high. And that's because I want my design to overlap my luggage tag a little bit. So when I tape it down, it's got plenty of room. So I'm going to go to create design. I actually uploaded a cute image that I found in my Creative Fabrica All Access account. So I'll go to my uploads here and I'll pull that in. It says travel is my therapy. And now I'm going to go into elements and I am going to search for some images to put in the background. So let's put a uh, sunset background here and see what comes up, what we want to work with. Oh, there's some nice ones here. Um, Let's see. I think I will go with... Let's go with this one, see what it looks like when we stretch it out here and get it big enough for my page. And then I'm going to position it to the back so that my travel is my therapy comes to the front. Yeah, that is really nice. I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit here, a little bit bigger. I don't want it too big. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add a second page here, just click add page. And that's going to give me that same size because now I can put some text on for the back side of my luggage tag. So I think what I will do is I will put my last name on here. Whoops, my cap locks on. I'll put Myers and I will, on a different one, I'll add another text box. And I think I'll put my phone number in here. I'll actually leave that blank for now, but I will put it on there later. But um, so I will just put my name on here and I will stretch this out and I am going to change the look of my name. I really like this beautiful wildflower script. So I think I will use that. I like that a lot. So I will leave Myers on the back and I will add an element to the back too. I think I'll use something similar here. Maybe this one, this is really pretty. Stretch this out because I also wanna have something on the back of my luggage tag. Ooh, I like that. So let's get that centered with our Myers here. Let's see, get this centered. Whoops, it's gonna give me some grief here. All right, position, bring to front. So I can move it around a little bit. There we go. Now send it to back. So I got my Myers in there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download these images and I'm gonna print them and then we'll press them. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit share and I am going to hit download and I want them as PNGs. And if you have Pro, which I have Pro in Canva, I'm gonna hit transparent background, and then I'm gonna download these. And then I will print them, and then we will go to the press, and I will be pressing these, um, being that they're MDF wood, I'm going to be pressing them for 385 degrees 
for approximately 60 seconds. One thing to remember as well, as like I said earlier, is you're gonna wanna make sure that you take the protective plastic pieces off of the wood luggage tag, because usually anything that is made out of wood that is sublimation ready is going to have that plastic coating on it. So I will come back soon. I print my images from Word. So what I've done here is I have come into a new Word account, my new Word document. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layout and um, I'm going to make sure it's eight and a half by 11. I like my orientation on landscape. It's you can have whatever preference you want for something like this. And I'm going to set my um, my margins to zero. I have a custom setting for that. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to insert my pictures. And so I downloaded them. So let me find it here, right here. All right. So I'm going to bring both of these in. I'm going to insert them. And here they came in. And I'm going to do the wrap and through so that I can move these designs where I want them on the page. Otherwise, it's a little trickier to move them around. So again, you want to hit the wrap and through. You can also do that up here on wrap text and through. That way you can move it on the page where you want to. Otherwise, they're going to be sticking together and you're going to have a little bit harder time with it. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go in and show you just a second here. I have to move my recording here so I can get to my picture format here. I'm going to click picture format. And then you can see that when they're highlighted with these dots around them like that, you can see that it came in at 4.25 inches by 3.1. And that's exactly what I wanted. So now I'm going to go and print these. So I'm going to start with file and I'm going to hit print here. And my sublimation printer is an Epson EcoTank 2760. So I'm going to go into my printer properties here. And I'm going to make sure that I have premium presentation paper mat selected. And that quality is high. And I'm going to go under more options. And under image options, I'm going to hit emphasize more and emphasize thin lines. And then we always want to make sure that we're mirroring our images. And we want to make sure that high speed or, or bi-directional, whatever yours is called, is unchecked and then hit OK. And then I'm going to go and print this. I used HTV Rant Sublimation Paper 125 for this, and it worked out really well. And as you can see, the images came out slightly larger than they needed to be. And that is exactly what I want because I want my image to go all the way to the end of these luggage tags. So sublimation ink in my sublimation printer. And so now I lay these uh, luggage tags on top and lightly tape it down with heat resistant tape. I have found that 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds works really well on this MDF. And so I've got my press set for 385 degrees for 60 seconds. And we're gonna do the first side and then we're gonna do the exact same thing to the second side. I've added a thick silicone mat to my press. That helps me to get the pressure that I need. You can find the link for the silicone mat below as well. And then I add a clean piece of paper just so that when I'm pressing these, I don't get any ink on my new mat. Now I've set my luggage tag down on the protective paper with the image side up and then I cover it with a Teflon sheet and I am going to press each side for 60 seconds. You're going to want to use heat resistant gloves for this or hot pads because it's going to be extremely hot. And as you can see, I did end up adding my phone number because what's a luggage tag good for if someone can't get a hold of you to give you your lost luggage back? So as you can see, it turned out extremely well at that 60 seconds.
Here I'm doing the same thing. I added my image to the other side, taped it down, laid it down on my protective paper, covered it with Teflon, and we are going to be pressing for 60 seconds again. And here is the finished product. This is the other side. That 60 seconds at 385 degrees worked great. And here it is on my luggage. I have put links below for items that I've used in this video and also a link to my Etsy store. Thank you.